All right, guys, how are we doing? I haven't done the Twitter space in a while, but you guys know how it, it does. So instead of talking the usual numerology and astrology and telling you how most people are fucking low IQ and then you get purged, you know, the usual shit I talk about. Today, we're going to add some people um, in the Miami area and we're going to ask them what the fuck they're doing on my spaces. So um, who do you guys think I'm going to talk about? Anyone? Hit, hit the request. There we, I found it. I found it. There we go. Should be good. All right. I got a special... Twitter spaces for you guys today. We're going to fucking make it happen. I'm going to see when he's on. Zerka, you should be able to speak now. I don't hear shit yet. I see your gubs flapping. I don't see anything coming out. Jedi Master Gary. There we go. So uh, let me tell you what I've been doing today and for the past few days. I've been turning uh, turning your favorite Christian cocaine crusader into a fucking numerologist. <laughs> so so now he actually knows how to fucking manipulate these bitches even fucking better, man. Yeah, as basic level as I am, I have a pretty good understanding, right? You're, you're doing better than most, my man. You're doing better than most, man. You know, uh, I mean, you know, some things you need numerology for, like to understand why some people have money and some people don't like, you know, I think, Gary, the one thing I've never heard you talk about is until we spoke today, that if it's not numerology, you can switch to astrology to match it. Well, see, that's what's that what that's what set me apart from everyone else in the game. Most people when they started this were they were only numerologists or they're astrologers. I said, fuck that. I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna combine both of them. You know what I'm saying? Some people just want the peanut butter, right. some people just want the jelly. I I but, said I want both. But you, so you see it as like two clocks turning, but that the numbers clock is much more important. Yes, the numerology is definitely more and, important than the astrology. And the numerology clock or that wheel is more accurate than just saying this bitch is a horse. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Pretty much. You know, uh, now see, see, here's the, here's one of the interesting things. Notice how we always talk about the matrix. Kate stole that fucking name for me because I was talking about that shit a long time ago. So the matrix and the rat go hand in hand. You can't spell matrix without the word rat. The rat's enemy is the horse. And that's why we call, call it horse. Because it sounds like horse. See how the Matrix likes to play games? Mm -hmm. the, the, that, that part always confuses me when you link it to words. Like, you go further, you know? Uh, that, that is called by most people uh, gematria, But I call it letterology because I think the people who are doing gematria are uh, pretty much insane, and they're broke. And I don't want to be associated with people like that. Wait, for Jamantra, is there a certain uh, language? Uh, well, I mean, you know, some of them use it with Hebrew, but mostly but, English. But no, if you look at throughout most of history, the Jewish mysticism is seen as, like, you know, high level. Wouldn't, wouldn't your best bet for Jamantra to be in Hebrew? You would think so, but see, now we're going into information I won't go publicly, and I'll show you, uh, you know, in person. Well, I guess I can just open the door. Well, can you at least <laughs> tell me which language? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 hold on, hold on. I could tell you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, one you, second. You my shit. Yeah. Now it is. Oh, that makes that makes oh, so much sense that you think about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, it's a, it's a powerful see, answer. See. See, but we can't tell if Pleb's listening. I, I get it. Because see, let me tell you what happens in my game. We know what happens in your game. Here's what happens in my game. What happens in my game is people hear me say things, they make it public, and then they uh, say they figured it out, and then they call me a fraud 
for actually saying that they stole it from me yeah, yeah. because most of these people are frauds. They just want to steal people's information. And then it's one thing to take someone's information and give them credit, give them a homage. These people will steal it and then say you stole it from them and then fucking start talking shit about you. So we have this whole community on TikTok. Uh, again, I'm the one who introduced these people to numerology. And now these people are out there talking shit about me. But you know what the best part is, Zerka? In 2020, the year of the rat. Remember I told you about rats? In 2020, the year of the rat, I released a psyop. For all the people who want to steal my information, and I put a whole bunch of bullshit out there, and then I left it in parts of the web where I knew these people would find oh, it. Out, outdated. It, you mean outdated? Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. No, not, not outdated. Completely BS. <laughs> completely BS information. So now there's these people on TikTok who think they got my information, think they're exposing it. What they're actually exposing is my PSYOP. And these people are too stupid to believe it because they think I've just tried to cover up. I, I mean, See? it's so easy to find out if someone's full of shit. You just ask them why. So why is it that language? If they freeze, they don't know what they're talking about. But if they do the answer you gave me, like in left layers, then then yeah. Of course, man. There's always differences. And this is why I tell people, man. You know, when it comes down to women, if you guys actually start doing st Spence, get on your get on your Twitter. I'll put, make you a speaker. So when it comes down to it, this is basically yeah, help, help them out there. Help them out. When it comes down to it, if you guys really want to master having a relationship, it, it's not just oh, let's learn astrology. It's you must learn astrology and numerology. But, you, you actually Gary, have to do it. Here's where I disagree with you fundamentally. Tell me, Fundamentally tell me. disagree with you that not even the infinite power of God and the cosmos can change a woman from being a whore. I mean, hold on. If a woman has a mother and no, a no, father. Gary, 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 if a I oh. have more faith in every woman I meet for the rest of my life being a whore than I do in God. And you know I'm a religious guy. That's how fucked up and, and, and this is the end times, man. I mean, I don't disagree with you. There's a lot of whores out there, but not every single woman. What's the percentage, Zerka? How many women today in America are whores? Gary, you've been around me all week. I don't think you shook one hand that was clean. <laughs> Anywhere we went, they all looked like <laughs> fucking whores. Yeah, I don't think I shook too many hands. Actually, I mean, Gary, you hug it up on Gary, these the bitches. Fucking, I don't even want to fucking shake their the hands. The most rude, coldest shit I've ever seen is when that girl uh, tried to lean in and give you a kiss, and she asked for a kiss, and G Gary's like pulled away. He's like, actually, I'm married in front of her friends. And I walked away because I felt humiliated for her. And she yeah, was fuck that, man. Listen, you know, you know what, you know what's beautiful, Zerka. I'm around all these fucking twenty-year-old whores, and my forty-year-old wife still fucking blows every single one of them to shreds. I've still yet to see a fucking better looking yeah, girl. Yeah, and the purity aspect that like the whores are gonna really one hundred percent. I, dude, dude, I don't understand how a guy you know, can fucking start going inside of a woman knowing her friends have been inside this tramp. Knowing Johnny down the street has been inside this tramp. I don't understand this. And you know what's even worse, Circa? Some of these motherfuckers go down on women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Circa, Circa, listen yeah, to this. I, I Could you imagine? breath, Gary. I, <laughs> These I, women the go around. It's I, the striking scent of Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So uh, some of these, I, I've had these women fucking actually tell me, you know, when women get readings with me, they tell me all sorts of shit. And this one woman once told me that um, she fucking went out in the middle of the night to basically fuck her ex. And then when she came back, her her man started fucking going downstairs on her. Yeah. It, 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 you know, you talk about filthy fucking animals, bro. This is absolutely disgusting what is going on in the world. But... I will say this: some signs are much more likely to be whores 
Pisces than others. Uh, <laughs> there's one sign that you said probably doesn't have a soul. Were you just being like, was that hyperbole? Let's let's not let's not reveal let's not release. Okay, that. you but but you're saying yeah, there's, I, a, there's I need a to start telling sign. you what you there's a nuclear sign. Yes. Yeah, there's a sign out there that, you know, might not have a soul. Anyway, Zerka, you got a lot of fans. You want me to let some of these people in here so they could talk nah, to you? No, nah, no, fuck them. But I want to ask you something. <clears throat> oh, go ahead. Is for the dating stuff, for me, I feel I, I have a master I have a mastery in dating and fresh fit style red pill and all that. But I feel like lost in the dark when I think of astrology, numerology, and picking the female partner, and that's like, you know all this stuff, you're an expert. I'm wondering, is there, like, what is the percentage? Let's say you go with a sign you're compatible with. What is the uh -huh. percentage? Is it 70% higher success rate? Or like, give me a percentage. Uh, well, I mean, you know, environment plays a role. So as you said, a lot of these fucking broads are whores. But if you take all that aside, and, you know, you take all the logistics in there. I would say if you get the correct numerology and astrology, it probably help. But but around 80 percent. Holy shit. And it goes hand in hand with red pill because there's a certain number that's extremely adaptive, which, you know, for better or for worse, depending who who she's around. But it gets solved by the red pill dating Myron stuff that teaches you to isolate her. She can't have female friends, so she can't like let that energy seep into her. It, like, have you noticed red pill kind of goes hand in hand with your stuff? I mean, listen, I think I was kind of red pill before red pill even became red pill. I, I've been talking about this stuff for like 20, you know, 15 years. I mean, you know, the reason I got suspended 18 times, Erka, wasn't just because I was telling people not to get in shit like that. I was fucking going hard against these hoes for a long time. Like, uh, Zerka, I want you to understand something. I run a numerology astrology group. 85% of my people are men. You know, this is, this is like the complete opposite of reality where it's 85% of women in this stuff and only 15% of men. I flipped the whole damn script. And that's why I got to tell all you broads out there, too. You know, uh, the one who says men and women are equal. Guess what? You couldn't even do astrology, numerology right. A man had to fucking do even that for there, you. There's something I never give it to the woman, but I will give it because I've seen some of your clients. There's something intuitive that, you know, women cannot learn and they're all stupid. But when when they're, they go into your numerology and astrology, it seems like they're the they're fast learners like they're intuitively they want that you know well when you're interested in the knowledge then you know you'll I actually men, want to learn men it. have a more restrictive energy for that kind of stuff like to like give it a try they do they do like, but he, here's where i came in i made it make sense the way i explain things i've dumbed it down to the point where it doesn't matter if i'm talking about sports or everyday life, or whatever, I can dumb it down to the point where it will make sense to people. And men are logical fucking creatures. And since if you give people information, then guess what? If they're logical, things start making sense real quick. One of the most mind-blowing conversations I've had in my life <clears throat> was my biggest um, shortcoming with my best friend, Heal Mike, right? You know, Mike? And how, when, when I started understanding this kind of astrological stuff, it was like, yeah, the elephant in the room, like, I was like, holy shit, that's the one thing we always argued about. If I had known this stuff, like, years before, I think I would have avo avoided, like, a hundred arguments. And that's the beauty of this stuff, man. Pick the right broad, and then you don't have to fucking get in those arguments. I was, I, That's the beauty of the, it. No, the beauty was when I got really fucking angry, like, at the fucking dining table, and you said, let him go. It's his nature. Like, it's his sign. Like, that's his nature if he wants, you know, to, to take a break. And immediately I thought of sometimes when I just walk into a room and stay alone for two hours, why you let me do that and stuff, you don't follow me around. Is like, oh, you know, sometimes that's their nature. It make it like 
it made me stop being angry at people's flaws because I'm like, oh, that is what that sign does. Uh, so you ain't angry at people's flaws anymore. No, so I'm, you're you're okay with a with a whore being a whore no, no, now. I'm saying like if I <laughs> if I sit at the table talking about something and one guy gets up and leaves to like have a phone call and now I'm not gonna freak out as much about it because now I realize like oh there's stuff that will get me off that table that that is about my sign and and number right. Of course, you know uh, Zerk always talks about religion. It makes sense. He's a fucking Pisces. There's a reason the fucking Pope wears a fish hat. Wait, is that... <laughs> so even when I was not religious since, like, 12 years old, I had an obsession with death, death content, anything about afterlife. You know, I think it's extremely interesting how people react when you when they see new information. And, you know, teaching you this stuff for the past uh, few days and seeing how you're making connections... This, this is how people start believing. You know, don't fucking worry about what I say. You take the information, apply it to your life, and see if it works there. That's how you know it's I, real. Gary, because I'm a three and I'm a talker and all that, I noticed when you see me make the connections, you get so happy because I'm about to connect them in the most comedic fucking way ever. And then I worry that you might say too much. I, that's street. what I'm sweating bullets <laughs> right now, bro. Don't sue me. <laughs> Brother, that, that's why we're fucking right next to each other. First I'm looking all, at you through the door. Team Zerka, Team Heel Mike, Team Spencer. We are, everyone in this chat got to thank Gary because, like, he got us a giant fucking five-bedroom house content, microphones, women on the best part of fucking Miami. Uh, like, it, the operation is a go as of this week. So, so... So we appreciate you, man. Thanks, Gary. Here, here, here. There you go, guys. Uh, you know, and Gary, uh, we're gonna buy uh, you. Uh, I'm uh, gonna personally buy you a new whip to crack on us. Or, or, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, man. I, I'll make my fee as that as the Jewish handler <laughs> and as the agent. You know, you're, we're, no, we're, you're you're, it's, it's, you're it's, Jewish, so you you keep the old the old whip that works just just as fine. Uh, yeah, I don't care if it's rusty. Don't need to be replaced. Yeah. You know, um, you know, when I moved down here, Zerk, I finally realized that the world really does need Jews. I finally, because I came whoa, down here. Twitter. You can't and, talk about this. I don't have to anything I want on fucking Twitter, bro. I, I, I finally realized that it was so disorganized when I came here. I look at all these influencers, 90% of them don't know how to do business. All they know how to do is talk or take YouTube fucking money. That's all they do. So when I came down here, I'm like, okay, now I understand. I just got to organize a few things, and then we're going to start making real money. And now you understand this is what Jews are for. Yeah, but 80% what of them vote Democrat. Yeah, that would be a problem, man. Yeah, Zerka, let, me ask you, let, let, let me ask you something, Zerka. Uh, you're a Christian and you have, um, all the basic people have helped you. Myron, Nico, Yassim, they're Muslim and you have a Jewish handler, but you're still out here repping Christianity, bro. It looks like all the other people are helping you out. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard to find a Christian, bro. Bro, that's the first time I think I heard you fucking stumble. You didn't even know what to well, I mean, say. Yo, Would you disagree that it's hard? It is hard to find a Christian. I mean, um, you know, the ones who haven't accepted homosexuality. Yeah, I'm saying lukewarm. I don't accept them. Yeah. You, you know, it, I think those are the Canadian Christians. Yeah, I guess for me, <laughs> Christian is like a synonym to radical because that's what a Christian is to me. Uh, you, well, I'll tell you what a Christian is to me. A Christian is you know, actually there. You have Christians who are in Russia, Albania, fucking Poland, Romania. If you go down the streets insulting Jesus, they're going to whoop your ass. Yeah. But if you go down the street here in America and say something, no one's going to do shit unless you're in the Bible Belt. But if you go to Canada and you have a Bible, and you start re like fucking reading out the Bible in front of some fucking rainbow convention, they might arrest you for fucking terrorism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 
it's weird how like all those gay stuff and all that gay programming. When I look into it, I go, it was here a lot sooner than I thought. Like people go, oh, in the last five years, things got very gay. No, they got transsexual because they were gay. We've been fucking gay since like the fucking eighties. Yeah, I remember that propaganda in the fucking nineties. Uh, fucking some shepherd kid got killed and they fucking made a mural or something like this. You know, that's the thing about these people who are empowered. They always try to make evil look like a noble fucking act. That's like one of the things they're best at. They will fucking make you feel sorry for the homosexuals. They will make you want to feel like you want to protect them. And, and that's exactly why women support these motherfuckers all over the fucking world. 80% of women are open to this shit. Men ain't fucking cutting their fucking son's dicks off. It's women who are doing that fucking shit. And the fucking beta males that fucking follow them. So you're saying feminine men, so women again. Yes, because who created the beta males? It was the single mothers. It always goes back to the fucking feminism and these women not fucking closing their legs. Which is mirrored in the Bible where all evil is the temptation of the feminine. Like the serpent and Eve. That's all the root of all evil is the serpent and Eve. That everything that's evil is feminine. Well, you still need femininity. Well, I, but it has to be ruled by an absolute authority of like a husband. 100%. 100%. I, you know, now, you know, I, I didn't understand Islam when I was a kid. Why would you suppress women? And make them put on fucking hijabs. Why would you do certain things like that? But as you get older and you see the consequence of promiscuity and you see the consequence of fucking women whoring around, then it starts making sense why they told these women to cover up. Then it starts making sense because, see, men are weak to the flesh. Yeah. They've always been weak to the flesh. Yeah. And when you have some fucking uh, whore who's fucking half naked out there, men are going to do what men do. See, this is why we need actual real laws. We need women to start basically acting like women again. And I wanted to put this out there. I respect women. I respect women fuck a great off. deal. Get the fuck off the I, I, Hey, hey, listen to the difference. I respect women. Fuck whores. You understand? What's That's the difference? What do you mean? What's the difference, man? There are some women who are actually loyal out there. It's a very small percentage. But, you know, that's why I don't get but There's a reason why a whore and woman starts with W. I get it. I mean, yeah, I, the only W that's ascribed to the to women is, you know, in, in, in the word woman. Because they cannot have Ws. They cannot have wins in their life without men. And... No, I guess the only feminine uh, positive trait about women is when you think of a feminine woman that keeps a husband, high value husband, around and loyal to her, she has like a weapon, a millionaire weapon, good looking millionaire weapon, and she swipes this credit card for 99 years. That feminine starts to look powerful like that. Like you can get a man to fucking be loyal to you for 99 years. That must be the best pussy in the universe, bitch, in the cosmos. That's the Milky Way pussy. But feminine women now are seen as weak and they give us these fucking loud Queen Latifah types. I, I, I love me a feminine woman. I married me a feminine woman. And guess what? Feminine women tend to be loyal. Unlike most of the whores you're fucking having sex with. But shut the fuck up. Yo, <laughs> check it out. You know, I, I love your honesty. I was on a date with this fucking, that Russian girl, and Gary sits down. She was kind of mad that I just brought Gary and Heel Mike to the dinner because I, I, for some reason, I can't go on a date with a girl. I get bored. So I'm like, yeah, I'm bringing family over. And yo, the first thing Gary says when I said, here's her birthday and stuff. Here he said, "Yeah, she's a gold digger." <laughs> <laughs> I don't I give a fuck, dude. Out. I got my bag. I don't give a fuck. I ain't here to. You know, I'm no, fucking... but I, I, I still remember looking at you like, bro. I'm trying to get the pussy tonight. Can she be a gold digger tomorrow? <laughs> you like fucking shriveled her out. You. She was so dry. She was like, she. But she did not disagree. That was weird. 
No, no, she definitely dis disagree. I mean, didn't I do that to uh uh uh, uh that fucking Doherty's bitch? What's that fucking whore's name? Um, McKinley. Yeah, yeah, she's born on the seventeenth, so one seven eight. So I fucking called her a fucking gold digger too. Makes sense. She's with Jack, who's born on the eighth. It's fucking see, people fucking start looking like. I think oh, how I was think it? the most interesting thing about Jack is the two numbers he has and how you just. It's so evident in his life. One hundred percent. How does a little kid make that much money? I mean, he was make it was a millionaire of fourteen, I think. How? Because How? he's born he in the eight. He did a contract with the devil where he gets all the riches of the material world as long as he gets slapped once a week. I I, I would <laughs> hope he would. I, I, I would hope. I would hope if someone made a deal with the devil, he'd have a better looking girl than his. Well, when you're getting slapped that often, the bitch is blurry. Bro, you talk. You... <laughs> she's, oh, bro. She's a, ten, she's a 10 to this black guy. Matt, listen, you know, it's like a whore fucking always talks about sex every hour. Like a yeah. fucking woman, you know, a Zerka talks about smacking these dudes every <laughs> fucking hour. You can't be around this dude without yeah. him talking about smacking someone. But guess what? We got we got something new for people coming soon. It's called the. Well, well, you know what? You want to tell them, Zerka? What are we going to do? It says smacking people. Everyone's out here smacking people. What are we going to do now? I, I don't I'm going to leak. You have to say it. What, what are oh, we you thinking? mean? I'm worried. I'm, 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 I'm thinking, listen, listen, listen. What I'm thinking I say something crazy. Well, I'm, I'm thinking, listen, Jack Doherty has been smacked so many times. You know, Fousey's the first one. You know, everyone's going to remember that virgin one. No one's going to top Fousey. But yeah, but Prime <laughs> brought the home run. One hundred percent. But you know what you could do instead of giving him a fucking smack. What about giving him an old, old fashioned backhand? Oh, so this is like this is an after school special. This is like switch the whole. It's the same recipe, but spicier. You know what you do before you pack that? Like, look, look like this. You go like this. You go. You spit. Then you get that spit, you hit it with the back of your head, and then you smack the shit out of him. This is what is this like a Russian slap? You catch the spit with your back head and fucking yeah, you like you first you have to you have to spit up like this, then you have to catch the spit on the back of your hand, and then you smack the dude. So it's even that much more insulting. <laughs> I think I think I want like a vocal with the next one. I, I want to inspire someone to be like, um, can you hear me right now? I can hear you. Yeah, I, I'd want someone to say, here it comes, boom, and, right? I want there to be, like, some kind of, like, announcer voice before it happens just to make the game harder because then he has one second to duck. All right, so I'm going to open up the phone lines to some of you simps out there if you want to ask Zerka for some dating advice or if any of you ho whores out there want to talk to Zerka or get a reading from me. Hit that request button, and we're going to start off with Bryce. All right. I think you've been – I think you can speak now, sir. What? What is your question? Oh, I thought – sorry. I thought it was Bryce Hall for a sec. I got so excited. <laughs> <laughs> that is a strange – you see how the matrix works? You're talking all this shit about a guy named Bryce, and the first one who talks to you on spaces is a guy named Bryce. Wait, is that numerology and astrology too? No, that that that's matrix. That's just that's energy. Synch synchronicity. That yes, Carl correct. Okay. Correct. Say, okay, so anyways, what's your question, yeah. man? Unless you want to throw hands with Zerka too. Why not, right? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I can only handle one Bryce, bro. Motherfucker, say, say you're soft down here, Z. All right, that's fine. I'm curious about. Damn, you. he said that's right too. I said, I said that's fine. I mean, I I can only handle one Bryce. I don't want them teaming up on me. All right, brother, what's on your mind? Yeah, I'm curious about your your bio, Gary, because you've got your snake sign, then you've got your Western and your Vedic astrology sign, and this mm -hmm. is called Orange Pill. What is the meaning behind the orange? I think that should be pretty simple, man. Florida, it's so obvious. Think of the think. Just break down the letters, dude. <laughs> I know. Orange breaks down to thirty-three. That's why. There you go. There you go. 
You could you 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 could have come up with that. Zerk has been at numerology is for it, seventy two hours. He figured bro, that out. Bro, orange is what you learn in grade four. Like, how did the letters not come to your brain? I don't associate orange with the number thirty three, but I will now. There you go. See, wait, you're, wait, wait, you're wait, changing wait. lives out here, Zerka. But do you, do you know why it's associated? No. Is it like? I think that's the, that's the most important part. Is it the value of the the letters? I mean that that probably has something to do with it. Yeah, I I say that like always with Gary because he's not like full of shit scammer. Always say Gary why? I think I said a million whys to Gary, and I I fucking downloaded this information way faster. But if you just like, oh, okay, that makes sense, and you don't break it down, I think you, that's kind of stupid. Yeah. Gary, thank also. You. Thank you for your call. Gary, I'm just curious. I want to know what madness is in store for me in the future. Would you be able to just give me a quick reading? What was your birthday? January 28th, 2000. Oh, damn. You got to start donating right now. <laughs> Listen, dude. Uh, you're born on the 28th. I've made that number famous. You know what that means? That means the bag will come, and it basically comes down to this: if you work really hard, you'll even have a really, really big bag. If you're lazy, you'll still live good, but money will won't be as big. It it, it comes up to you. You're gonna have money either way, man. Depends how much you want. And and I'll add the Zerka twist to it. The problem is someone's always going to be fucking your wife, right? <laughs> Big, look at 28s, bro. They're all fucking cocks. Oh, God. So there's your devil contract, right? No, no, my devil enjoy, contract. Enjoy a billion Zirka. dollars. That's I don't the get love any. of your life. I don't get, get any, Zerka. By a big black cock. <laughs> I think, uh, I think Adam uh, 22 is an Adam 28. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Bryce is going to get removed. Uh, Spence, introduce yourself. Who the fuck are We're you? Good. I'm Spence. Red pill. Yo, you, you, Spence is like a robot. I'm Spence. Red pill. High. I'm high as fuck. That's some good shit I gave you. Was it best? Insane. Was it from Planet Thirteen? Bro, bro, when you and Mike, when Spencer and Mike walk back in the house, they look traumatized. I'm like, what happened out there? Like, what did you smoke? They, 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 they hung out with Gary for five minutes. Yeah, yeah they're, they're doing Jumantra <laughs> in their head. <laughs> uh, Luca, what's on your mind? Make it good. You slipping, brother. You slipping. You're giving poor energy. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is I know like a six is more restricted, but fours, like when I think of fours, it's like, man, they piss me off. Yeah, <laughs> because because as a three. I'm not hey, that hey, enough, 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 oh, enough. Oh really? Oh really? Enough, across man. the line? Enough, man. Enough, man. You're good, wow. man. You're good, man. You're good. Anyways, let's see. If anyone else wants to say something, if any broads want to come up here, you got one minute. Me and Zerka about to close up shop. I made Zerka a bet. We get up to fucking seven hundred followers. I win. Where's my fucking money? You know, Jews always need their money, but you guys got about thirty seconds. Logan. What's on your mind? What do you got to say to Zerka? <laughs> I was actually going to ask you a question because, like, this this month has been really off. Like, I've had terrible, terrible luck. Um, I wasn't sure if you would know anything as to why that would. Give the matters. birthday. Just hurry up and give her the give the birthday so he can <laughs> diagnose you. August. Like, start fucking rocket science. <laughs> August twenty second, two thousand one. You're you're in GG three three, aren't you, brother? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a DM, man. It will make sense after I do. All right, bet. Hey, hey I'm sorry to the seven hundred people listening or above. I'm sorry, I gatekeep. 
And, you know, these bitches can't fucking keep their legs closed. I fucking make sure my mouth stays fucking closed on some things. Oh, so it oh, is what it is. Oh, you're saying because he's a member, it, it would be big leaps. And it, it, because he's a member, I can just slide into his DMs and tell him exactly what he needs to know without fucking revealing it to all these people who are listening. Because you have to understand, Zerka, I'm the top of the food chain. I dominate my field. Wait, Gary, I, I have Gary. a monopoly over my field. So people will copy and paste everything I do. Everything I do, they copy. The Tates wish it they fucking did in Red Pill what the fuck I did in numerology. Well, they take one and asked you for a reading. So, like, yeah, I get he's under you. But I, I always found it weird how you never told me what to do or advice. You just said, here's what's best for you. You keep it like, like a free will option. Like, you're going to do whatever you want, but just keep in mind this is a better option for you. Why do you word it like that, like a wise teacher? Why don't you say, you need to do this? I mean, I do sometimes. Really? But... Sometimes you just yell at someone and say, you got to fuck this 28 pussy? <laughs> I, think... <laughs> I, I think I only do that a couple of times a week, man, but it's all right, man. Yeah, well, the last guy you uh, said that to is fucking killing it. Yeah, let's let's keep that under wraps. Anyways, listen, um, uh, Spence is one of my new good buddies. Give him a follow. Uh, my man got his shit going together. You guys know who the fuck Zerka is. What, Zerka, Gary, man, look, I don't, look, I don't yo, see Gary, it. Gary, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm addicted to this shit. Can we get 10 quick readings in a row from, from people? I mean, usually, okay, let's start, man. We'll do one. Because people actually have to have some balls, and they have to actually ask to come in. Most people are fucking scared, man. You're no, intimidating Gary, motherfucker, Gary, Zerka. I'm not even going to talk. The, the, when I talk, it's boring. That's impossible. For me, what, looking at their profile picture and the tone of their voice, I like matching it to their number and sign. It's, like, hilarious to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, whoever's next, go. Yo. No fucking way, dude. Zerka. No, get off this fanboying gay ass shit and ask just give us your birthday, bro. <laughs> um first first of June. Oh, you're a leader. I am, bro. You brought me to Christ. Dude. <laughs> Zerka, I love you so much, you're, bro. You're the only you're the only one that's a clown on earth. I'm the only what? You're the only number one that's a clown. Like, number ones are usually serious <laughs> leaders. Dude, I am serious, bro. Dude. Okay. What do you have to ask? I would just want to tell you that you're the man, bro. Man, I... Oh, uh, get you, off I this dude's dick. Hmm? God you know damn. I'm the man? Because I'm a fucking three, five, life path with a religious, spiritual Pisces charge, and there's one thing I cannot reveal. What is my it? My 10-inch numerological cock. Dude, my cock's actually <laughs> pretty big, you know? Okay, next. Hold on, yeah. I'm going He's one. gone. He's gone. Okay, next person. Go ahead. And. Uh, Zerka, where are all these women? Usually when I take you out, there's women around you, man. How come these women scared to talk to you today? Because I'm not a Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> you just throw a shade. Yeah, fuck Mike. <laughs> wow. So if you're a Scorpio, uh, Zerka said, fuck you. Well, the, the coolest thing you said is the stinger thing you said about them. Like that they poke? Mm -hmm. oh, they got to poke with something. Uh, JQ, what's up? How we doing? Uh, what what you, what you got for Zerka? 8-18-2001. Oh, wow. That, that's an 11 life path, Zerka. You're, what do we know? You're, you're literally charismatic and can make a shit ton of success. There you go. See, Zerka, you got the seal of approval from Zerka, brother. I believe it. Love to hear wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, are, you, are you successful right now? Mm, I wouldn't say monetarily yet. Okay, so that means you are the Down syndrome of 11. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there, brother. 
<laughs> Only this motherfucker can make numerology funny. <laughs> Love to see you boys up like, here. Like, Gary, come on, bro. If you meet an 11 that's broke, there's no way you're not laughing in your head. Hey, I, I, I usually, like, I, I don't know. I don't deal with too many pro people nowadays. Well, that guy on the call is broke, he said. I ain't quite <laughs> broke, but I ain't. I'm oh, 22. Quite. He used to How much you make a year? How quite much you make a year? Like a 26,000, 30 something thousand. You make 30,000 a year? Where, where do you live? Because you, you'd be living under a bridge in Miami, in Miami bro, with 30K. <laughs> I was living in Salt Lake City serving tables this past year. Yeah. You're you serving live in a tables hood there. as an 11? Easy work, man. It's mindless. I work that, three that days a week. That means 99% of your potential has not been tapped into. you like dropping chrom- chromosomes as you speak. Nah, man. I've been hitting the snowboard. I've been hit 85 days last year on the season. What does that mean? Like a snowboarding, like I've been getting after. He likes snow bunnies. Yeah, I've been. I've been you, got, you got, you got, you got, got talking Zerka's language. What, what does that mean? <laughs> just been shredding, bro, and just getting, just having. Is he fun talking about snowboarding? Mountain. Yeah. yeah snowboarding. Or is he talking about cocaine or fucking white women? Which one? Nah, 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 nah. Bro. I think I thought mountains. he was talking about all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, those three go hand in hand. But yo, if you're at the snowboarding and being broke. The 11s will reject you, bro. <laughs> Shit. Like, you you should be disowned from your number. You know, I've never done uh, real drug Zerka, but I think I take the cocaine over most of the white bunnies. I, 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 think I, take, <laughs> I think I take cocaine over snowboarding and waiting tables as a genius level 11 imprinted energy. It's all part of the process, brother. Okay. You, That's something the goal. is disrupting his signal, bro. No, nah, we believe, we see, but you can't can't build everything in one day. So you just got to go and well, build how old are what you, you have. I'm 22. 22? Oh, but 11 skyrocket, right? I mean, it, it, they, they could take a couple years. There have been some late bloomers. Even Michael Jordan was cut from his fucking high school team. He's an 11. I'll be honest. I didn't really get into the game until probably 19. So I'm only three years in of actually Well, I, I'll tell you the, this. The... the, the the number of most respected, in my opinion, has to be the 11. Every time Gary and I we talk about certain 11 celebrities, whatever, the tone switches to, like, absolute superstar that transcends their sport or media or whatever. whatever. Like, 11 got to be the most powerful. I feel like it takes time to build. How else would a piece of garbage like Aiden Ross be famous? except he's born on the 11th. How else would a piece of trash like Joe Rogan be famous unless he's born on the 11th? You know what we should do, Zerka? I should call up Joe Rogan's dad. Uh, <laughs> just give me her, his birthday. Joe, Joe Rogan's dad? Uh, all I remember is he was born in 1941. That's all I remember. He's a drowning nine. <laughs> 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 see, see, I spread the fucking nine hate the Zerka. Even Zerka fucking does all you motherfuckers what, now. What you? No, no, no. Nine, I would never hate nines in ancient times, but with mainstream media, it's it, the scary. Yeah, thing yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. Okay, Zerka. Gary, Gary, you talked about the technology <laughs> connecting a lot of success dots for the seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we, shit, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've gone yeah, too far. Yeah, yeah, okay, you got to slow that. See, I'm actually doing a spaces with a door closed with Zerka in case he says too much. I've, I've I can fucking been, walk in. I've only done this for like two days. There's no way I'm actually that <laughs> high level. Am I actually high level? No, but there's things I told you I want other people to know. Now, but, in GG33. Am I a novice? Where I mean, I? I'm not a fucking. I, I mean, listen, you've been around me for about like what a while now, so you can't be a novice anymore. No, no, in a scale of one to ten, where am I at? What's my power level? Three. Yo, that is dirty. <laughs> that is the dirtiest answer. I mean, it's the most honest answer. Three of up. Three of so, up. So but you know what? You know what's great, Circa? Just by being around me, you know things that people have been listening to me for fucking five, ten years still haven't figured out. It, it, to me, I wonder if humans intuitively pick up on imp- imprinted energy, but they don't know what it is. Like, like, do you think like? Did, did we just sense an 11 next to us? 11s might be able to. Holy, they got all the superpowers. 
I, I, I mean, you know, but let's not forget a lot of school shooters were 11s too. Right, but and and most of them are cucks, right? I mean, Adam twenty, yeah, Adam twenty two, I believe is a eleven. I believe he is. Let me check. I mean, and by the way, that was your best fucking uh, podcast moment this year when he said that he wanted the fucking they was thinking about committing suicide. And he told him he should every you should do a, everyone a favor. <laughs> I forgot about that. I said, get it done. <laughs> Uh, no, he is not an 11. He is a... No, he is an 11. Yes, he is. He is an 11. Fucking... What a fucking faggot. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if you can say that on Twitter, but hold on. Yes, you can. W- would you say most 11s are business titans? I mean, I, I think of a lot of 11s... Uh, like, give me I'm, a broke 11 that that loves their life. Like, what would I mean, do? I mean, uh, if Kanye uh, loses another 50 mil, he probably is going to be broke. Kanye West is an 11. Um, you know... Was he, that, he, Kanye West... Well, Conor McGregor is one, too. Yep. I, uh, so is Barack Wait, Obama. What's Floyd? Floyd has to be either 7 or 11. 5. Get the... Oh, yeah, pretty boy. He's a uh, uh, oh shit! Dude, you know and, he, and, you know and, he, and, you know and, he's born like one day after you. And they, he's all about sexual innuendo. And he loves that shit, brother. He, he loves that strip, shit. Well, he's a perfect five. Yes, he is. Wait, is there anything else he has? Uh, I mean, high body count. I think that goes with fives, right, Zerka? Yeah, but but the animal. Ah, he's a snake like me. You know, the the interesting thing about uh, snakes is they tend to be the best boxers. Uh, Muhammad Ali was a snake uh, when it, because it's more of a thinking sport than actually fighting. Uh, Floyd's a snake. Uh, Lennox Lewis is a snake. So some of the best uh, boxers of all times have actually been snakes. Huh. Wow. You would think it would be tigers, but, you know, not so much here. What was Einstein's? Uh, damn it! Actually, he was a thirty-three. Oh, obviously, genius. Of course, and someone's got to fucking do it. You're, do you tell people you're a genius, thirty-three? I mean, if I'm a thirty-three, that should be self-evident, right? Unless, what? unless I'm a counterfeit one like Aaron Wynn. Shout out to Aaron Wynn out there. <laughs> yeah, you know what's thirty-three about you is I never see you stop working. You're either casually working or focus working, but like and people and people say when they smoke weed they get lazy. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. No, no, I, all I hear is when people smoke weed, well, no, they no, get no, fucking no. I mean, lazy. We're not defending weed. The reason weed is not interrupting your success is because you're a 33. What the fuck? <laughs> Regardless, don't, don't, here's what I'm going to tell all you people. The rules that apply to everyone else don't apply to me. Here, here, here's what I'll tell people, all right? Since Gary wants to promote marijuana... Let if you're a nine, you should be a stoner. <laughs> you should be surrounded by stoners. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they, they're really good at that either, to tell you the truth. Uh, oh, wow, like you know what? The only number I never they're, they're respect, much the number better with the never, syringes. The number that never comes up and I have the least understanding about is the sixes. We're not talking about that, but I got a treat for you, Zerka. I got someone called Aaron Wynn, and this this is a true, true renaissance man, man. Aaron, what's on your mind? 33. You, you're a 33-6. I'm a real one. I'm not the one losing parlays by one every time. Well, I actually (laughs) actually do, but not like you. Yeah, boy. Aaron, yeah. are you a, are you a homebody? Am I a homebody? Not really. Yeah, stay home a lot. You're not a family guy? I mean, I would be, but right now I'm not. I, I, I he can't find a bitch. He, 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 he needs your help, Zerka. Wouldn't that six bring that kind of thing? I mean, if I had a family, like, you know, if I had a wife, if I had a kid, then yeah, I would take care of them. <laughs> but I mean, as of now, you know, I'm okay. like, yeah, I'm a little small. On my own. So, what, what's the what's the difference in thirty three and thirty three six? Uh, one 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 is a superstar. One's like a role player. It's pretty much influence. But, but both make a lot of money and genius. 
I don't, I don't know. You consider yourself a genius era win? Uh, compared to the rest of the world, if you look at the average intelligence, I think you know, I might as well be. Yeah, you, 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 don't okay, don't, don't compare answer, yourself to uh, women. That's the answer of a uh, uh, mid-level IQ. <laughs> no genius would say, if you compare to the dumbasses who got... Uh, we, we play a game of chess. What does that do? That's a measure. I mean, that, 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 that actually makes me money because every time I play this dude in chess, me and me versus him, I make a lot of money. I make money too. Oh, so why? Uh, why would a thirty-three-six challenge a thirty-three? <laughs> Does it go well for you battling Gary? No, he he loses money to me left and right. He came down here to Miami and lost another thousand dollars to me. Appreciate it, Aaron. Thank you. See, if you were just at 33, you would know to cut these fucking losing battles. I've won money playing him in chess. That's exactly the sixth energy of I, I won once in a blue moon. <laughs> exactly, man. You know, you know what's interesting that about is this guy? Hey, 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 you know what's interesting about this guy? He doesn't think Michael Jordan is the best basketball player of all time. Why? Because he's not. I, I don't know. Because he's not. Well, I'd say, I I I'll go with Kobe. I don't mind. Kobe and LeBron. What's Kobe's uh, birthday? 11. Of course it is. Just See, like LeBron Michael and 11. What's LeBron? One. Lee, oh, yo. Yeah, he, he doesn't have that killer instinct like the other guys. That oh. was the difference. Okay. Wait, what was John Jones? Five. No, six, six, six. Does he have a 33 six in him, Aaron? I don't think so. John Jones? No. Actually, we have a, a guy in here that I'm about to uh, invite to speak. Uh, he gave John Jones a numerology reading about three weeks ago in person. Jones being a six is really not making sense to me. He's I born guess. in the ninth. He's born in the 19th. See, sometimes. No, no. I'm saying the way he lives his lifestyle. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I, let me make sure I got his birthday right before I start saying that. I think it's seven nineteen eighty seven. Yeah, I got it right. I got it right. It, it, yeah, John Jones. Jones, is a six. Jones does. Uh, Jones operates like a six sober. I I seen his fucking lifestyle, but I guess not on coke, right? So you you gave John Jones a numerology reading. I mean, don't go into all the details, but how'd it go? Yeah, he was pretty receptive, but he's like you, Zerko, where he's like Christ pilled. So he was really asking yeah, no, about Christ-pilled. the God aspect of it, you know. He, he, he's the greatest of all time by like leagues. Of course. Yeah, he def he definitely is the best uh fighter of all time. It's not even close. I think uh, Khabib might give him a little bit of a run for his money. Who said that? Me. The fuck? Gary, come on. Khabib? Oh, come on, man. Khabib never lost. Yeah, Khabib is a wrestler that wrestles. John Jones is a wrestler that doesn't even wrestle. He'll stand and trade with anyone. Like, he doesn't even the, the thing is, if Khabib gets, you know, uh, you on the ground, he might even put Jones out. But Jones, no, they, they've made arguments that Jones wrestling is at that level. I, I think Jones would beat him. But I think if they fucking fought 10 times, John Jones would, might lose one. Okay. okay. Oh, that that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Dude's got me on high. Yeah, like a head kick. Like hold on, hold on. If they fight fucking, if they fight ten times, my boy don't win one. He can way more champions. And, and he he head kicked every. He he had the most murderers in his resume, whereas Khabib had a softer resume. Yeah, Khabib has like four or five big wins. That's it. John Jones has literally every Wins against fucking exactly. champions, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get, get, name Khabib's opponents that have large names. Connor? Fortier? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Justin? Uh, yeah, Gaethje? I mean, listen, I don't fucking yeah, remember all the names. Of, but he fucking names. beat everybody. That's like fucking saying yeah, Michael Jordan. Jordan. You're trying to hold Michael Jordan yeah, accountable yeah, because but, but, he didn't but, have that same the fuck, the fuck competition you- level. How the fuck you become a champion and retire when Jones literally defends his title a thousand yeah, times? He, yeah, he does have way more title defenses. Yeah. In one round, he's the what? Like what? He's the 
greatest. He was Master Francis there. Yeah, if Khabib is season one, then this TV show of John Jones would be season one and two because he fucking defends his title, bro. Like, so, uh, Zerka, Zerka, do you think the uh, female uh, UFC champion takes you out? Who? What's her name? Uh, I think Amanda Nunez. Yeah, she's on uh, testosterone, right? Yeah, I, th- I think she fucking whips everyone's ass. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but I'm also not like one of those guys who thinks she has like superpowers. Like she would be busting her ass, slaving away for that. <laughs> it will make her into a housewife. <laughs> I, Gary, I've worked five years at bars, and I've just seen the difference in snap between men and women when they punch. Testosterone does close the gap, but. You know, I don't know. Yeah, that that'd be a good match, dog versus dragon enemy signs too. So, nah, that's exactly why I said it, man. Good pickup, cat. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, that's your enemy sign, like Aiden. Well, what's my enemy sign? Dragon. Right. Uh, a dog dragon, and... a dragon is just a more calculated tiger. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but um, when it comes down to it. You know, you know, this is gonna hurt, Zerka, but Aiden's gonna blow up even bigger next year, man. Uh, I, I, I believe that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate, man. But I, hey, I'm gonna make it known. I've told people. I think Sneeko replaces Aiden as the number one guy in 2026, at least in that little streamer. What do you call them? Zoomer street, Zoomer people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can see that. Like Sneeko gets lost in some pussy and then comes back. <laughs> Always with the shade. Always with the shade. Okay, wow. We got a hundred people trying to speak. So, Kat, I'm gonna f- put you as co-host, and hey, Gary, you can. Pick, Gary, pick the faces that look like sevens, eights, or elevens. Oh, okay. oh my uh-huh. goodness. And. Pick the faces that you, you heard the man. The cat. ugliest motherfuckers because fives are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is 90% guys I'm looking at, but I don't, I don't see any. <laughs> There's got to be some bronze in here. Oh, man. It was there go- you know, Gary, we- Gary, not to, not to sound cocky, but I think the combination of my tone, energy, the way I speak with the three combination with the five is why my career is like fucking amazing it's like the perfect thing you, you just figured that out what well, I, I, mean, like, I, I fucking, no, I fucking no, Gary, told, Gary, when, I, when i fucking when i fucking start attacking you what was it like fucking five months ago i had i fucking looked at your birthday first and then i fucking figured you were worth attacking <laughs> yeah. because of that shit yeah and you, you knew since i'm a talker that i'm gonna like respond right of course. You didn't respond to me, though. You motherfucker responded to everyone else. You really? wouldn't respond to me attacking him. But <laughs> here's what's weird, Gary. 99% of those Chad good-looking guys, influencers, are it's very scary. awkward. And they're very awkward and yes, strange hello. with their words yes, when, they, when they That's talk all. to Yo, shut up, shut up. If you uh, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. That's royalty, brother. Yeah, You're talking to American bad. royalty over there. Uh-huh. This is the mumble uh, microphone. How you doing, Mr. O- Mr. Obama? Hey, oh my I'm god, that's fine. Obama's I'm doing brother. Fine. I'm fine. doing fine. Just woke up. How's Kenya? I just woke up. So you, you wake up and you hear Gary the numbers guy. That's right. Of course. You're my agent. Why not? <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. Go ahead, Zerka. Is it true you said like uh, you you asked your brother for stuff, and he said that he's broke. Yeah, he was broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! What year was he broke? This is uh, 2015 when he came to Kenya. Oh, the gold year, the gold year, of yeah, course. Yeah, some kind of uh, some 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 kind of uh, 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 engagement here. So we were having dinner, and I, I I told him some people wanted something, and he said he was broke. Damn. So the ox was yeah. broken a goat year. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. yeah. How many mansions does this uh, this uh, does your brother have? Four or five? Almost five. Five. I, I, I even lose count. Five. But 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 when but when it comes to you, he's broke. Yeah, he, he I was broke. I couldn't believe it. I looked at him and I said, in my mind, I didn't tell him, but I said, this guy must be full of shit. 
I gotta go. I just, I was just yeah, trying wait, to think. This is my more, first what, time on is he gay? <laughs> uh, uh, Malik, can you can you answer one more question for uh, Zerka? Okay. Is your is your is your brother gay? I have no idea, but you know, you never know. It could be. Okay. Well, you <laughs> seem straight. You're heterosexual, right? Oh, he's ah. alpha. Man, I tell you, man, I I can't. Uh, of course, are you, are you are you slaying a lot of posts? Are you yes, we can kind of guy? Malik, I know you have to go. Just tell him how old you are and tell him how old your wife is. Ah, uh, she's twenty years old, and I'm sixty five. <laughs> oh man! Whoa. That's a pit. That's that's the. So, honestly, hey, Malik, honestly, a lot of people honestly, look up to you, brother. Honestly, Gary, he should be president. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Hey, Gary, I gotta go. I just wanted to say this is my first time on Spaces. I wanted to try it out, and it looks like sounds it good, brother. Okay. Anytime I open the Spaces, you're more than welcome, and I'm sure I'll see you sometime in the next month. Okay, brother. Thanks. Bye. Hey, Zerko. Yes, we'll sir. see you some other time. Bye. I will. I will visit your home. Please come on over. You're welcome. Anytime. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, look at that. Zerka okay. starstruck. Yeah, yeah. I never okay, thought like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> always. Always. Always on your show. Anytime. Okay. Bye. Bye bye, my I man. Thought Zerka was on bye. Bye Is bye. Michelle Obama? Oh, so man. so so what other what other spaces are you gonna have someone talking numerology, Zerka talking about everything else, and then we have American royalty, Mr. Obama calls up. And starts talking. I mean, this is this has to be the best space. This I mean, has to be the I, I absolute think, best I, space. I think we're in top ten podcasts on earth of what what we went through right now. Like it was pace, comedy, and then fucking nuclear with straight Obama. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't ask him about Big Mike. Yeah, that's that the first question. I was terrified. I don't want to like get shot. <laughs> well, it's okay, man. He, uh, I'll tell everyone what I saw when he was here. He showed me a picture of Michelle at the wedding. Uh, it was 1992. Yes, sir. Yeah, one sec. And, you know, it looked Gary, like a woman to me. But, Gary, there, there's a chance Michelle is a woman that's just... I, I don't, I don't, what if, I don't what think if that's... She's, what if she's a... I don't, think that, I don't think that's a woman because I think uh, Michelle Obama would knock you the fuck out. Yeah, but 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 I I know I understand that. But what if she's just a nine that was born in a locker room? And I, I, she's she's an eleven, bro. What the fuck? Nah, she got hands, dude. Keep telling yeah, you, she I, got I hands. That, that doesn't come from being an eleven. That comes from being trans. But but Gary, wait, Gary, Gary yeah, got man. cut off. What did he say about the nineteen ninety two picture? What, what, what was about the picture that he did about Michelle or Michael? Yeah, uh, the, the the picture I saw from 92, it looked like a real woman. Um, obviously, that's not the case now. I think basically what happened was uh, she was replaced. I think that's the most – I think that's the most – yeah, I think that's the most uh, logical thing. She was replaced. Wow, that's interesting turn of events. Wow, that's interesting uh, conspiracy group. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, what the I mean, hell? The only, I mean, Gary, the, the only – Thing that wasn't replaced was his penis. Because <laughs> he kept it. Uh -oh. There's like a bulge in some video. And I remember Gary was like, "What was the money? I'm out of money, Gary. I'll give this amount of money if you have one picture of Michelle Obama pregnant. No one can, can, can come up with it." No, I can give you nine pictures of her having a bulge. Is she still a dragon then? No dragon. No, she's, 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 she's a kitty. She's a dragon. Not, not, she's a dragon drag queen. Yes, yeah, she's she's a kitty. God, she's oh, a kitty for sure. All right, we got we got one female up here. We got Jana. She's also a circle, so I think this will work out, right? So, Jana, go ahead. Uh, not really. Jana, whenever you're ready. Why, why can't you leave it out there? Hi. Someone's gonna steal. Um, I'm a six, Circa. You're a six. Uh, May 29th, 1997. So six life path. Um, do you, you're a homebody. You stay home a lot? No, I'm actually living in Albuquerque, and my home is New Jersey. But are you, should, are you, you, you should, family you should. oriented? Sorry, you both talked at the same yeah. time. I are, you, are you family oriented? 
a little bit. Wow, you're well, Gary, help me here. Because she's born on the 29th, um, she's also a little bit more of an older soul, more charismatic, probably has a better body than most sixes. Okay, send nudes, prove it. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> um, but true, but no. No, if you send a nude, I can work you up to a 32. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a question for Gary, if that's cool. Go ahead, girl. I saw some weird tweet about some girl saying she astral projected you and you waved back. Is that fan fiction or did that? that... Uh, 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 listen, listen. When you get a certain level of fame, these broads start fucking making shit up, man. I don't know what else to tell you, man. I didn't fucking wait for anybody. There's another bra that says she tried to um, look at my uh, soul and some fucking things try to attack her. All oh, a bunch of bullshit, man. These people are out of their fucking mind, man. Don't pay attention. Just NPC talk. That's super creepy. Is astral projection a real thing? No, it's real. It's, it's real, real, but... Uh, yeah, NPCs can... I don't think NPCs can even... I don't think even... Do I, I I think that the what well, the question you should ask yourself is is the love you have for your mother and father just random chemicals of dopamine or is there a spiritual component? Because what if you choose the spiritual answer, then you're saying your dream state, your lunar subconscious sleep state, rapid eye movement, sleep. You're you're really saying that spirit world. But if you go with the materials perspective you're saying it's just chemicals firing as i'm sleeping you have to like understand do you fall into secular retard thoughts or is there more yeah because they're, 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 oh it's science science says it's only random chemicals coming out your brain and it means nothing like yeah. the gatekeepers say that stupid shit you know science is awesome and they're great <laughs> <laughs> yeah hashtag don't forget your hashtag shots to science all right, we got 117 uh, requests, man. That's a lot. I got a pee. I got a pee. Okay. You can take the phone with you. <laughs> Yo, can anyone hear just, me? Just, just, just mute the noise. Well, as a as a five life path, I'm very into my looks, and I don't want to reveal my small penis, so I'm just gonna leave the phone. Oh, down. shut the oh, fuck no, up, man! Is. As a matter of fact, you should be disrespectful, and when you uh, pee in the fucking toilet, that noise might piss people off. No, it might piss a the, feminist no, off. Gary, there is no noise. My dick is that small. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> this guy's something else. Well, now man. it makes sense why he's uh, always attacking black guys. Now it all makes sense. See? Hey, can anyone hear me? Can I speak? <laughs> hey, why don't you just take peptides? All right, man. Who's next? Whoever said, can you hear me? Can I speak with that voice? He can speak. Whoever who's talking. Yeah. Hey, one. thank you for uh, hearing me. Uh, my birthday is um, June fourth, nineteen ninety six four nineteen ninety. Wow. You you just you just jump into things. No pleasantries. No nothing. How you doing? Gary, I've been a fan of your work. You just fucking feel entitled, don't well, you? Well, you know what? Can I say I apologize? It's just that um, I've been watching your Why are you apologizing? Why you Hold on. Why are you apologizing? I'm just bullshitting. I got you. But I want to be respectful, though, because um, I've been watching you and Twitter <laughs> for a long time and listening to Wise Cat stuff. I just want to be respectful. And um, shit, I don't even think I'd make it up here, but here I am. Yeah, you've you you, you you've known Zerka for a long well, time? I've been, watching, I've been watching Zerka for a long time, and I respect what I do. And I'm, I just found out who that fucking motherfucker was a couple months ago. That's fair enough. I've, I've been watching Zerka for longer, and then you just kind of came into the orbit. And I've been watching you before you and Zerka came to me. I, I, didn't, I didn't come in. I kicked in the fucking door. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And no, no, no one let me and see everyone else in this industry was put on. Every motherfucker else was put on. I kicked the fucking door in. Little bit different. They, trust me, trust me. These people did not want me to fucking get famous. I can assure you. Another thing I can tell you is, uh, yo, Andrew Tate, fuck you. Uh, I does everyone know I took his 500k account? GG33 business now. Yeah, I mean, Gary, this is a household takeover at this point from you. Awesome. Fuck him. Uh, Sneeko fucking dumped his ass too. Yeah, they, uh, uh, that was a long time That was coming. a big news. Oh, he didn't follow Tate. He didn't follow Tate on everything. It is what it is, man. 
All right, bring some more females up right, here. It's very slim pickings. This is this is like no, uh, oh you you, God, you, ain't, you ain't kidding about that. I see no females in there. I see guys. Well, anyway, since I'm here though, can you talk to me a little bit and let me? <laughs> oh, what's my birthday? <laughs> Tell my numbers. You. All right, what's your birthday, um, man? It's uh, June fourth, nineteen ninety six four nineteen ninety. Okay, so you're an 11, man. Fucking stubborn-ass horse, 11 old soul. What else you want to know? Well, this is the thing. I'm just trying to find because I, I, I want to make a difference. But you know what my problem is? Sometimes yeah. I get stuck. We, we, yeah, yeah. I know what your problem is. You're an 11 who wants to change the world. Here's my advice to you, my friend. Change your pocketbook first. Broke people don't change the world while they're alive. Some did it when they were dead, but no one did it while they were alive. See, most 11s want to change the world, but how are they going to change the world with no money? Yeah, that's usually the problem with these 11s who, you know, have these grand visions that they're going to change the world. They're broke. So my, uh, you know, here's what I'm going to tell you. Get a bag first. And then if you want to change the world, go ahead. But get your bag first. Okay. Hey, I appreciate you letting me speak. Thank you. Thanks for coming up. Oh, good, brother. Enjoy your traveling. I know you do that a Thank lot. Thank you. All right. I think we have uh, Jenny coming up here. We'll let Jenny in. Jenny, are you still requesting? I'll let you up. Request again. Yo, is it okay? Jenny on the block. Or I'll wait for her. Uh, Jenny's, Jenny's the one that interested in me being Gary to the guy that was at the uh, Capitol, uh, at the uh, the riot at the Capitol. She's coming up right now. Mm-hmm. How many people in this, in this space? We have 817 right now. I'm oh, sorry, glow correct. 818. Uh, so 818. The, the, the Zerka effect. 823. Yeah. A twenty three. Look at the A twenty three, like the guy born on the twenty third. So she says Zerka A twenty three. Yeah, that's this way, Kobe. Yeah, I'm throwing that up like him. Is Zerka still at that house? He has to leave. No, no, I I, I took him out that house. He's a new house okay, now. Okay, good. Because uh... yeah, I went I went to a house with fucking filled with homosexuals to drag this guy out. Yeah, because we need to make a, a G J three content house. That doesn't have that type of stuff. No, no, no. You know, you know why I did. I fuck. So I went in Jack Doherty's house. No one invited me. No one said I could come in. I just walked in the door and fucking went straight upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I, I, the fuck is I, I fucking would say what's up to the security guard and just went right upstairs. Though with this shit. Wow, man. security I, should be fired immediately. I was done. What are you? Th- I'm smoking blunt with the security wow, guard. Oh man, Damn. Well, I mean, you know. It, you know, you know what the uh, best part about Jack Doherty's house? He has a dog, and that dog doesn't like anyone there because they they're all fucking soulless. But that dog fucking comes up to me every time. I just chill with the dog. Interesting. Wow. Like uh, what Patrick Bed Davis says. Mm, interesting. <laughs> what is your, what is your Patrick, birthday? Interesting. It's interesting that Patrick Bed Davis talking about numerology yeah, astrology every two seconds. Hey, what's now. your birthday? January seventh, nineteen seventy eight. Hmm. Interesting. That's who said everybody. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. All right, we got Jenny here. Jenny, what's yeah. up? Jenny from the block. What's up? Well, Gary, I'm an awesome fan of your work, as well as Wise Cat and Zerka. Nice to meet you. I will say there's one super hot chick down there. Her name is Numerologia. Hey, me... So if you're looking for hot chicks, she's down there. Are you is Zerka? Are you yeah, we're, not, we're not bringing her up. I am back. Uh, they said there's a hot yeah, chick there who wants to get on your team. Com- no, she, no, that's why. No, 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 Jenny, she's not, up, Jenny, she's not coming up. Uh, what's what's her name? Her, her name is she's not coming up. But that's that's her name. She uh, was, she, what a fucking what a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Well, I'll tell you this, right? Astrologically, she will never be with me. That's correct. I agree with that assessment. Yeah, she is yeah, a same. coward. Yeah, she's. She, I agree. I agree with everything you're saying. All right. All right. Uh, let's I mean, see who else do we have here. It's very slim picky. No. This is 99 percent guys. It's really sad. There's nothing to trade, bro. I don't. I, I don't want that shit. I only. I only. I only smoke one brand of weed. That's it. I don't want anything. Just take that right there. There That's you go. The go I, came ahead. Up. I heard it was a sausage party, so I came in as fast as oh, I could. Don't want Nigga, I'm rich. What are you worried about? <laughs> oh, Gary, Gary, you unmuted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gary has leaked the space though. Oh my gosh. Fuck. That's the best party ever. I'm rich. Smoke on my weed. It's all yeah, good. Relax, man. 
Oh man, people like people like people are so broke all the time. Cat, you've been around me all the time. Don't I just give people yeah, bloods? Yeah, I mean, and they, like you think this is special or something? I give people bloods. Yeah, Gary's a very about? giving individual. I mean, especially for people he likes. When it comes to weed, we're good, man. <laughs> Gary smoked the best stuff too. Yeah, I mean, I smoked the best. I mean, every, tell him, tell him, no bell. Everybody else is coughing. He's doing just fine. Hey, 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 hey! I I went back here with Spence and Mike. They literally took five hits and they're fucking passed out. I'm on my second one. You took two, and again, you don't get fucked up. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. we, we, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need do some. We need weed pick here to help us bounce things out a little bit. All right, man. Anyone got any questions for Zerka? Yo, Zerka. No one got one. I got one. Well, go ahead. Got to say, yo, Zerka. Go ahead. All right, so um, I was born on 11 12 2002. No, he's, I mean, you're asking him numerology questions. But... Are you serious? It would be a fucking nine asking those questions, too. Yes. Like, <laughs> Yo, read the room. What's with it, y'all? I've been hearing like a lot of nine jokes, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. We're good, man. Oh, good. You got, you got 14K followers. Nice. nice time you well, I mean, the thing that I would just like to know is like, what's something that, like, I can improve on. Yes, every single Even day. I think, uh, I well, you, think that, no, you, that you are so focused would be on right? being surrounded by people better than you. <laughs> he's doing that right now, man. He's doing that right now. Well, Listen, he's my... not doing it when he gets off the call and stays with his high Well, I mean, I mean, you can't be around fucking elite people all the time, right? At least through technology, he gets to hear our voice. Well, it's Sunny right now. Sunny's coming up. We got Sunny. I ain't gonna lie, that's a fact. Sunny, that's a fact. yo, what up, boys? What, what the fuck right. is the beef? What's going on? There's no beef, man. We did. We, we did. We, you just saw Sunny. It's Sunny. Yo, what? You, you, you just requested. All right, man. Um, now we're we're just uh fucking getting a space up to a thousand people. That's it, Zerka's brother. Zerka's fucking wilding right now, bro. Going after uh, Bryce Hall's dad and shit. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but he's a criminal, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you actually think you could whoop his ass, bro? Oh, his dad? I'll be down, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, I, I, heard that, I heard that Bryce is going to pull up to Miami. I, I heard other things that he told me. He, he ain't coming, huh? I mean, it would be stupid because he, he's the he's the size of the island boy. Like, I mean, even is he really the size of the I mean, island boy? Is he really that small? Bit bigger. He's five nine, bro. He's a little bit bigger than that. He's the five nine. The That's island the boys are midgets. Size. No, but uh, Bra- <laughs> this is the same thing. Listen, Zerka's gonna handle him just like Bradley Marley handed him. Bra- Bradley Bradley Martin handed him in the lobby of his gym. So I think Zerka is gonna just choke him out or something. Because that's that's too I much mean, of a size bro, disparity. I mean, I, mean, no, I'm, I said I'm gonna give him a hug. Yeah, a bear hug. Yeah, yeah you're too sexy, just like Bradley, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I, I want to see that match actually. Bradley Martin versus Zerka. I would love to see that. That's that's big money right there. I think. Yeah, but I got. I don't think I don't think Bradley would ever fight him. Yeah, because yeah, Bradley only fights smaller people. Didn't. Hs Tiki Taki, big money. Trust me. Oh yeah. Set up my friend's friend with his best friend. Riley? Yeah, I'm too I'm two sixty, bro. I'm two sixty, bro. I swear he says that because two and six is eight. <laughs> did you did you guys see the one where that fucking the world's strongest man just manheaded him like he's a baby? There is there's levels to this shit. Wait, wait, Gary, what's Gary's birth or uh, Bradley's birthday? Yeah. Uh, nine twenty two eighty nine. All, all the bodybuilders are born on the twenty second. Wow. Yeah. Hey, so here's the thing. Um, Boozy is born on the twenty second, and he's a snake. And he put on Bradley Martin, who's born on the twenty second, and is a snake. And then Bradley uh, put on some girl named Sarah, who's born in a snake year. And they're all bodybuilders. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. All good, brother. Nate, take care All of good. Snake. Zerka, aren't you like 6'5? You're pretty tall, right? 
Yeah. Do you usually date women that are short, or do you date women that are tall? What short. fucking woman are you gonna find that's taller than him? Fucking an Amazon? No, it's short. It's short. Definitely short or mid, mid medium. Give me an extra chicken. Yeah, in there. Where? In here. No, nah, that that's not what Zerka told me. Zerka said he likes midgets so he can stand up and get it done. And they're, <laughs> and, and they're easier to beat up. <laughs> it's a joke. Don't kick me. All right, no offense, but some guys are going to get dropped. Not women are requesting. I see them all at the very, very bottom now. So women are requesting now. So if you get dropped, no, nothing personal. I have uh, a few questions. All right, go ahead, Spencer. Um, so the number 317, I think Elon Musk tweeted that a while ago. He oh, said it. everything. Yeah, but he said everything is 317. Yeah, because he's I, an 11. Oh, no, he's a 7. Yeah, yep. yeah I, I, already, I already revealed that 7 and 11s are best friends, so we could put that out there. Okay. Now, what if it was like a 34 and a 29? Would that be a different? A little bit, be, yeah. A little bit. Would they still be as friendly as... Like, because obviously the seven elevens everywhere. I, I mean, well. some sevens elevens will get along better than others, but overall, it should be a very positive relationship. Okay, makes sense. Mhm. And then my birthday is seven thirteen two thousand one. Seven thirteen two thousand one. Zerka, he's a, he's a five. What are you gonna tell him? Uh, the. He, He's good looking and he's about sexual innuendos, that type of humor. <laughs> is that you, brother? <laughs> of course he is. He's laughing already. The Zerka, you're a and, certified and, numerologist and, now. And I think youthful energy, right? Uh, it depends. Uh, not always, but it is what it is. Right. Cat, get some females All up right. here, man. That's when Zerka's at All his right, best. Thanks, Spencer. Zerka has. Thanks, Spencer. Has uh, oh, I was gonna ask. Yeah, you ain't gonna ask anything. The oh, gone. Shit. I dropped. I dropped him too quick. Go to the Twitter. Space. All right, Spencer. Sorry about that. I know you were mid sentence. I thought you were done, so it's not the personal. Uh, Aaron Wynn's coming back up. Let's see. Wait, Gary, have you heard of um ZV Bear? He's in here right now. Who the fuck Who is, is that? that? He's the horniest motherfucker the on Twitter. The white woman guess, Melissa. Guess what is um? Guess what his birthday is? It's fucking uh. He's a five. Five. Five, five, five bro. Is that? Just like, just like Doherty. Yeah, September fifth, ninety four. That's crazy. He's actually like the horniest dude on all of Twitter. It's so funny. Doherty is such a five that he attracts five digits to his face every day. <laughs> uh, start putting your bets on who's the next person to smack Doherty. Yeah, let's see. I'm about to let him up right now. Where's Bear at? I'm trying to let him up. ZV Bear. Bear, hold on. He he does he does make good tweets. Where is he at? Hold on, for the fuck. Guys, do this somewhere else, bro. Yeah, he's, he's funny. funny. Where is he? Hey, Noel, you want to go on a, a on a podcast with Zerka? DM me if you do. And, and Noel, if you say no, I'll, I'll take the spot. <laughs> Zerka, you ever like actually meet any chicks off of Twitter? Uh, yeah, I meet a lot of them in from through Twitter. Yeah, I well, actually just. I right. just met up with one from Twitter like last weekend. Yeah, Twitter girls are hot. Yeah, yeah, a little like e girl vibes. It's not bad. Yeah, Instagram got catfishes. Yeah. They're calling right now. I dropped the wrong person. Hey, Gary, add Grace to the call. Sky, Goddess, Noel, they're all coming in right now. Peace, peace. So, Zerka, you just see three chicks at the bottom now. Four all together in the whole space. Hey, what's up, Gary? What's up, girl? How are you I'm been? I'm good. How are you guys? Uh, I, am. I, I don't know what I'm getting myself into with these guys. Yeah, they sound pretty crazy. But um, for the podcast, yeah, I'm down. We, we got you one, Zerka. What, She's what, what? down. 
Oh, she did right. a pod- She did a podcast with me. Awesome. Yeah, you said she was cute. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. I would hit that. Oh, oh my wow. God. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the one Zerka couldn't make it to. He's like, I'm coming, and he wasn't there. I'm not single. I would hit that, but I would hit that, but she'd be disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wow. stand disappointment. I have a lot of Capricorn energy, so. Okay, well, honesty is the best policy, and that's what you get with Zerka. That's what I like. It. And and I guarantee I disappoint you only once. I bet it won't even be once. Yeah, you know, there's only once for a reason. There's a reason why because I disappear. Like ninja vanish. So what's going to be the no, topic no, but, of the uh, podcast? Jerry, but, What's your favorite sexual position? <laughs> Where are we at right now? All right. Uh, hey, 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 hey. This, this ain't the podcast you did with me. I promise you that. Okay, bet that. <laughs> you know. um, Jerry, the what would you position. say? You, ask, you know, where am I at right now? Oh, that's okay. that's yeah. good. Sky, you, you should your outside voice. What would you say, Sky? Um... What would you? Uh, what would my uh, number be? Okay, hold on. Close the door. Okay. Nine two thousand five. Uh, nine nine what two thousand five? Because I know you're a rooster, but nine what? Rooster. You're not. You're nine what? What? What's your birthday? Um, nine nine. Rooster means a big. If she said nine nine, that would make her a seven. If she said nine nine. Yeah, nine nine two thousand five. You're a seven life half, high IQ, deep thinker, uh, definitely somebody who values their, uh, you know, alone time, and definitely somebody you know, very Whoa, smart. Oh, I've seen her content. That's actually her. Oh, wait, whose content, Sky? Yeah. But you said content, like wait. Wait, what? What, what content? content? Oh. Don't you upload on your Twitter clips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, did. And but... they're like deep, uh, deep. Uh, they're analytical. They're everything he just said, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he went to the media that quick? Yeah. Damn. Holy shit. Actually, yeah, that's so that was, true. I, I'm very... Zerko was on that I, shit. Gosh. No, that man's faster said, than anyone, the FBI and TMZ. No, no, no. It's, I've known this for weeks in advance. If if someone has a female profile picture, I study them. <laughs> Where do you get this time, bro? I don't know. I, I really like opening the females that de- that are in the, my DMs or follows. Yeah, because that's females are. A, that's a science right there. Because I'm a five. Because I'm a five. Well, well, well Zerka, you, Zerka, you make <laughs> Zerka, you'd make a very good detective, and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> detective, yeah. Uh, anyway, we've got Goddess here too. Also, goddess, I was gonna, Goddess uh, Siri. I was gonna add oh, about um, the 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 thing where, where you said like. Oh yeah, souls. Uh, the reason why you have feelings for your parents, or whatever, like you feel this connection with them, is because of your soul. But like, how would you explain psychopaths? Because psychopaths lack uh, emotion. NPC uh, 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 gave birth to them. That's how I explain it. You think they're NPCs? I think I think a lot of these fuckers are NPCs. True, a lot of people are like they don't even talk to themselves, like they don't have an inner voice. It's like it's a little weird. But, yeah. Also, I uh, just uh, something before I leave. I uh, just want to say that um, uh, I think Islam I'm not is looking through a thousand people, bro. A cult and yeah, a gay religion. That's all. Oh, damn, yeah, bro. She thinks she's yo, she, she Islam. So Islam is a cult and the gay religion is what you said. <laughs> I'm saying I'm not looking through without yeah, people. I, I wanted to like drop the. Hold up, hold up. He won't let you go. I don't get back. Oh, oh, you do. Get the These guys are over here talking about fucking bitches, and she's like, Islam like, is wrong. I'm ready. I'm ready to break. I'm ready. 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 Yeah, I'm just a Muslim hater. His wife is a five, you know. He's busy. Are you an atheist? Sky, Sky, are you a Christian or atheist? I'm agnostic, but I'm still looking into it. Oh, that agnostic means you have the religion of a dog. (laughs) (laughs) So, so, so the religion of Zerka, he's a dog. I just, I think people need to like go through some kind of trauma to like even like. Get into no, you, know why, you, you know why you're a retard? The only thing that separates man from beast is the God question and wondering 
about a prime mover. If you're agnostic, you're indifferent to the question, just like a fucking animal. Yeah, but it also took you like a lot to even you like, go, get I to Christ, right? Say again, Sky. Like, even you yourself, it took you, like, so much to happen, like, the bad stuff to happen in your life to get to Christ, right? Yeah, yeah, but I'm just, like, ever stubborn. Yeah, this, this would have been good for a podcast recording, like a video. That's just this, this topic right here. Zerka and Sky. If anything, isn't the best way to take people away from religion going through a lot of trauma? That's, like, why there's pedophilia. Because it like drives people away from God. Yeah, because you you you're question like, hey, this all That's this. That's not always to this. true because people use religion as a cover to use pedophilia. Yeah, both ways. The priest. Yeah. Wait, define pedophilia. Oh, Touching man. little children. Zerko's like, what's the age? Ooh. He's like, he was kind of how blinded. little? Yeah, I gotta know the line here. I gotta know which group I'm in. So. Zerka, so for Zerkaology, it's like a line. If she's opinionated and if she's, is it 14, 15? Where's it at, Zerka? 16? No, no. The hottest women on earth will be 17. Okay. But don't act on it. 18 is the worst because that's enemy year, right? So, so, so 17, 18, 19. Around eight, eight, 18 means they're expired. Yeah, 18 is enemy year, too. Actually, a lot of women are attracted yeah. to really young women, but they just shouldn't. Oh, act man. There's too many people here. Yeah. There's, There's too, too many people. people. But don't, don't, don't tell that to uh, women who are of a certain age. They're like, oh, you fucking piece well, of shit. But when, when they were that age, they were dating guys that were in their, in their 40s, 30s. You're not going to find them. No, if you actually look into it, the guys who got like a pretty wife, she'll be like 25 years old, right. but her DNA, her skin, her complexion is close to 17 looking. Right? Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm starting to so think about So you're just it. talking about the image of a woman? Basically, how humans age differently. Like two 20 year old women, one could look 40, one could look 13. People age yeah. very it's different. It's just how you take care of yourself, yeah, and your genes. Yeah, if she if she likes to drink, uh, she'll look 50. But if she doesn't drink mm. as much. I mean, genetics play. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I'm stressed, yeah, genetics, so race, all the other stuff, too. It's also, like, environment and weather. Like, I grew up in Boston, and all those chicks look like they fucking went out of the, came out of the chamber. Yeah. Damn, their skin's all terrible by, it. like, 25. Yeah, a lot of those upstate New York chicks, all they do is drink, 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 drink. So busted. Bro. No, 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 you guys are wrong. Rob, no, that's not true. One, I was actually... The number, the number one Body most suit. powerful thing about looking young and beautiful and stuff is the fake if you received love from both parents? No, that's not true. I believe that it's competition. Yeah, uh, look at people who come from single moms. They're always ugly as fuck. That's not true. I think you're generalizing somebody that you know. Um, I think it's more fair to say that competition breeds, um, you know, hotter people. No, like come every on, think time about I, it. in a place like I'm Miami. Like- like, there's so many fine, bad bitches walking around because, like, everyone has plastic surgery. They're getting the fillers. And it's a huge competition. Yeah, not, but if you go to a place like, uh, I don't know, Montana, you're not going to find girls that you're interested in. No. Go, just study men. Every no, 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 no sugar daddies in Montana and take care of them. <laughs> exactly. So there's nothing Wait. to compete with. Like, these girls are taking care of horse shit and... You know, milking cows. There's yeah. not a whole bunch going it's, on out there where they have to like dress up in Valentino and go to the gym. That's happening. No, no, no. Where no, there's competition. Listen, listen. Go look at every man you meet that had a mom and a father in the picture. They look. I can sound tell you five right now. I want to let you finish. There's a ton of single, single mother mom? men that are fine as fuck. 100%. I have never in my life met a man who grew up with a single mom. That didn't give me kind of mentally ill energy. Okay, you're talking about energy. You're you're just switching this around to be uh, right. But you uh, were ex- firstly uh, talking uh, about uh, the image. Exception like... is Kanye West, t- uh, t- 2024 in the profile. So the exception, Kanye West. What about the fives with the single mothers? No, no. Kanye West restored his relationship with his father completely. Bro, and it, loved, how loved many, his mother. Or like your parents love, that doesn't have anything to do with like how hot you are. It just doesn't. 
I think I think like it's hard to believe whatever. Well, wait, wait. You said it doesn't have scared. anything to do with it. Did you come from a single parent household? No. But you're feeling a lack of love from one of your parents. No. Right? Okay. You- I don't believe you, but okay. Dude, that's a good pod t- podcast a topic as well. That should be rehashed. Yeah, that's a good podcast. I'm, I'm just, you know, I know a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds. Never and the first thing that you brought up was human. the physical appearance about people. And you said that people coming from single family homes, you know, they're ugly. And I Never understand what you're talking about. It's human. like the mental thing. Never because they're trust raised by a people human that, that came from a single right, but mother no. household. Never trust the human for anything that came from a single mother household. They lack soul. They're they're like it's like what animals. you're saying right now. I agree with 100, percent Zerka. But the first thing that you mentioned don't do business was with them. Do what not people do look like. So I'm just addressing that. But you're 100 percent right. That's- if you're coming from a single family household, there are certain things that you lack. But if you come from a double parent household and one of your parents have issues. That's also coming from a household with lack. So there's a whole bunch of things that can lead to people yeah, having no, mental no. You're issues. You're trying to do a gay equality answer, and no, it's not an equality answer. One is what you just with... missed out on is that I agreed with you. So no, but that's the problem. You women always agree and then stick on the fence. You go, well, this is bad, and so is this, and you make it a fifty-fifty. I didn't stick answer. on the fence. I literally agreed no, with you, no. and then I addressed you about the first no. thing that you said, which no. is you were trying to you, say that people coming from single-family homes if you were agree, ugly as fuck, if you agree, and I just corrected if you, you, and I said, hell yeah, there I are plenty of people, weird looking people that retarded. are good-looking that yeah, no, come no, no, from no, that, no you know what? that are you, orphans. All you, you know why your instinct is to agree but find common ground as you agree? Is because women are socially calibrated and you want to have peace and make everyone happy. Just say single parent households bring ugly retards to the earth. Well, if you can distinguish what I just said, I mean, you'll get there. You want to make, you always want to make it the liberal soft answer. I don't think she just doesn't want to generalize, I think. Hey, one ovary at a time. There will never be one ovary at a time. There's literally. Hey, I two. might be trying. Oh, that's good. If you want to make an omelet, you got to crack a few eggs. Go ahead, Sky. Speak. Um. We'll, Damn. We'll she's your, what are you out of thinking capacity? What the no, fuck? No, I just found my place. You said somebody else could speak, so go ahead. She's talking to this guy. He was talking to this guy. If you notice, if you ever ask a girl randomly, put her on the spot, they always freeze. But if you ask a guy, they just immediately go back into like working thought. Like women just cannot okay, think. Okay. Yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm I'm listening, listening, I'm listening, 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 what, Gary? Raised by a single right, mother. There you go. I feel like so, I feel so like some do, people might just do they turn crazy. ugly the mm-hmm. second? I don't know anything about them fucking being ugly or cute. All I know is fucking single mothers raise beta males. I know that to be a true fact. Yeah, and and all the criminals on earth are raised by single moms. So yeah. But it, isn't that because dads leave? Like, so, don't leave you know, how, how about don't children? open your legs? We won't have so a problem. As soon as dad leaves, they get ugly. How people. about pull out? <laughs> no, just kidding. How about no? But, but see, it's all cause and effect. So if you don't open yeah, the true. legs, there's no reason to pull out. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's both people's fault. No, at the end of the day, the woman has to be shamed into keeping her legs closed. Why? Why? why do I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Because because here 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 here's the point. Here's the point. If a if a man is a whore, that's one thing, because a woman has to facilitate it. If a woman is a whore then she can have unlimited fucking babies who are raised by single mothers and they turn out to be fucking criminals 85% of the time. So it's a negative on society. So here's what I tell you women. If you want to be whores, cool. Fucking tie your tubes. Don't or, have any or, issues. Or, no, 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 no. I want to take it a step further. Suck more dick. How about that? Well, I mean, we, 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 I'll be <laughs> honest, though. This might be controversial. I think we need to go back in time and kill the people that uh, created uh, birth control because I think that made it more of a free reign to do. Oh, I could just fuck whatever, but I'm still going to. 1972, and the rat euro is yeah, really. We have to kill the guy that said, oh, this is a good idea. The thing with women, though, is that like uh, the competition is so crazy. That's why you have a lot of women that get plastic surgery and stuff. Like, if, if you're with a guy, right, and a, like a high-value man or whatever, 
and uh, you don't want to have sex with him the first day, another girl will with, you know what I mean? So you kind of have to give it up. Uh, no, you don't. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go back to her. That's you g- you have to give it up? No. No, you, I mean, you no, make no, no, no. No, no, you, you, you just said that. Yes or no? You just said, yo, you just said give it up, right? No, you don't have to, but a lot of women are competitive, right? So. But you just said you have to give it up on the first date. That's what I heard. I, I mean, a lot of women do. Because she's saying for me, Gary. She's saying for me. Ah, for you, gotcha. You're doing no. the same as the competition. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get. No, she got to give it up. She's also. Yeah, I guess for, for most guys, I guess if, if you don't put out, why, get the fuck out of here. That's what that's what she's saying, basically. They're going to say, get the fuck out. Why would I pick you if you're not going to put out? That's... Well, here's yeah. the thing. Here's They're the thing, though. The here's thing. the thing. If you're hot and a virgin, you don't even have to give it up. You can you can blue ball him for three months and he'll stick oh, around. Oh yeah, I think yeah. So, I mean, oh, a real yeah. virgin, not a fake virgin. That's yeah. the number too. Three months. You hold out for New three born months. Virgin. <laughs> three months. Well, at least three months. I think three like, months. That's the fucking <laughs> Lulu. You got at least. me fucked I mean, up. She's a virgin. I gotta be no, around the same months. woman. For three months before That's I can nothing. tap that. Hold That's on, hold on. You you want me to fucking buy the cow, but I can't sample the fucking milk? Oh, no, fuck. Gary. No, Gary. That's the rare cow. That's a hot virgin. You will wait. Yeah, I think some guys are waiting. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll crack. I'll I'll crack that virgin under two weeks, bro. Damn, we're Gary said he had sauce, and y'all have none. No, Gary, we're talking about like a less than one percent. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about history, girl. I don't yeah, know he, he's talking, talking about literal, literal history, Gary by the way. No, history. I know, I got it. <laughs> Zerka, have you ever noticed that all the only childs raised by single moms, it's always a boy. It's never a girl. Have you noticed that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know. Well, no, I think a lot of the extreme school shooter cases will be boys, and you notice that more. I I don't think I, I, I can't think even this... think of a single case in my life of someone I know that's a, a single child. I mean, an only child raised oh by a single my mom God, that's a girl. You're, you're actually right. Whoa. The I can't think of like one. I think it's because, like, I mean, my theory is because, like, the mom, like, it kind of knows that, like, down the line she can rely on her son. I mean, that's my only theory, but like. I don't know any girls, only child raised by single moms. I, all I know is every time I saw a, a, a child raised by a single dad, they were always successful. Hmm. I actually the know is, a lady with three daughters are that are single, yeah, like girls. So it's really interesting that you bring this up, but they're all masculine. So that's also yeah. pretty interesting that that's your theory, because uh, I think that you're right. I don't think we should run those stats on single dads versus single moms who's better because that's going to hurt some feelings. You know how you fix all problems in America? Women hold three-fourths of the debt, so just tell them to fuck off out the country and every problem gets fixed. So basically repeal the 19th and you know, we'll cancel your debt. Out, out the workforce. Yeah. We I have done so many podcasts and I have asked the women... I will fucking get rid of your debt. Here's the here's the deal we men give you. We get rid of all your debt. The 80% of debt that you hold in America that's all women, we get rid of all of that shit. We put that shit on our back. What you give in return is you can't vote anymore. And you got to shut the fuck We'll up. have this fucking country back in 15 years. Yeah, but yeah. it's not, it's a, I think it's they got to get the, leave the workforce. It's not the vote. It's both. And I think that if you have a man, a woman would be, have no problem whatsoever. If you're voting differently than your husband, you've got an issue. Let your husband yeah. go out and, and, and do those things. I mean, I, I agree. As well, no, that, it, that rarely happens. Like, I mean, no, I no, no, that happens actually a lot. A lot. I, remember, I, I, remember two, I remember 216, I was always fucking making fun of fucking men uh, because they would fucking uh, vote for Trump and their woman would vote for Clinton. And I'm what? like, you're a fucking bitch. As a matter of fact, you know what, Zerka? I'm going to announce this now, right now. In 2024, I'm going to open a fund. I'm going to fucking back it with my own money. And if you're a fucking man who is voting for the oh, conservative think- and your fucking bitch is voting for the Democrat, I will pay for your divorce. Yeah. No, you guys are making it about gender. It's not about yeah, gender, yeah. okay? I think no, 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 no. It is about gender because 70% of women vote for Democrats. So it is about gender. 
And you're undercutting your husband. I mean, straight okay, up, you're, you're okay, neutralizing his vote. You rig the elections, even if the woman decided, oh, let's actually, like, Democrats don't really work. Like, yeah, but listen, if women never voted, it would be red, red side to win every single time. If women never voted, the entire map would be red. They they can't they can't you know, like fucking steal the are, they can't steal uh, the election so. they can't steal the election if it's fucking a landslide yeah, they can only steal if it's close. The Democrats that, like, play on emotion and you know, women are. Oh, we got Mr. To New that. Money here. Somebody's getting dropped. So Mr. New Money is here. Hold on, guys. Mr. Uh, overpaid is here right now. Hold on. Somebody's getting dropped. Yeah, don't, uh, keep keep Sunny up there. Don't drop. Okay, him. Yeah, Sunny Sunny Sunny's never fair. getting dropped. Well, I was, I was talking. So, uh, let's see. I gotta move somebody. No, no, nothing personal. We gotta let Mr. Overpaid come in. The most smelliest human alive. The, <laughs> the social media is dividing people, and that's the problem. No, no, social it media is. is actually telling the truth in a lot it's of ways. It's really the fact that women just make emotional no, but... decisions. So what all of these people are saying, and why there's a thousand people in a you group that all agree, Sky, decisions. is because we, as women, came together to, you know, get the right to vote. Pause, pause, and we basically pause, fucked up everything. Pause, <laughs> Before pause, women had when, the right when, to when, vote, there was definitely more semblance and organization in our nation. So that's exactly why you said women are more emotional thinking. That's exactly why it should be illegal for them to have a job. No, um, women are not more emotional. They're more in, like they have more, not more emotional. What the hell? They have more, in, no, definitely sure. more emotional. Yeah, they have more empathy. Unless it's a dude cancer. Who does it care if they have more empathy? It is a big day. Like, as in, like, for the kids. I to absolutely, care for kids. I actually. He, 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 you know what the biggest fucking lie out there is? Emotional intelligence. That's something they fucking made up for you women to feel smart. Emotional intelligence is the stupidest thing ever. I, I you see that on believe, Twitter too. Emotional intelligence. I, I actually believe that um, a dog is smarter than a woman because at least <laughs> the dog is happy, right? I mean, whatever helps people sleep better at night. Emotional intelligence, all these different spectrums of intelligence. Either you're stupid or you're smart. There's no in between. You're either dumb or you're smart. Oh, emotional intelligence, yellow intelligence, green intelligence. Like, what? Really? You know, I I always wonder. Yeah, I agree. I There's a lot wondered, of dumb people. I used to ask my girlfriend every day, what's wrong? Like, she'd be like, you know, have like kind of a face on and stuff. And she'd be all sad or sometimes crying or angry. And she'd always respond with, I don't know what's wrong. And I'm like, what the fucking retard? Like, you, you don't know why you're sad or angry. Or, she just wakes up out of bed like a, like, she, it's like she had a bad dream and it ruins her all day. And I'm like, women are retarded, bro. No, maybe she's just bipolar. Yeah. No, no, they, you guys. No. You they're guys they're, they're bipolar because they're whores. <laughs> because that's what happens when yeah. you sleep with a lot of men. You become bipolar. No, his girl is not even, I mean, I don't know, but. All bipolar come. Comes from sexual trauma. Oh my god, this is some serious <laughs> intellect going on here. No, I don't because think it's a matter bigger, of intelligence. I think it's a matter Ooh, of. Right. Bi bipolar is dealing and with immaturity. No balance it means bitches need to stop being hoes because all the chemicals from all these dudes jizz and it's fucking gross she's right she's no, actually right but you I said know. yourself that psych uh girls that are bipolar tend to like keep um like uh, not sleep with a lot of dudes so oh, stop. and i'm contradicting oh yeah, stop. Wait, what? yeah you said I don't know, you maybe, got bipolar problems. Are you from California? Where's she from? Hold on, hey, Hassan, hey, do you I'm believe from, any of this I'm shit? I'm in California, I'm but, from, but I'm like completely I'm anti from. California. Let's let Hassan go. Hey man, set, settle down. Yo. A man's talking. One hundred percent. Every woman who's not a virgin is fucked up in the head, and they shouldn't vote. One hundred percent. It ruined. It ruined America. One hundred percent. Did you just steal my? You want answer? a bunch of unsatisfied, angry girls running around, huh? No sex, no voting. Like what? You, what? What are we gonna do? Clean the fucking a house. A lot of women have low standards. Look, 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 I'm not even gonna lie. All jokes aside, it was so simple. Go cook some dinner. I will mute the room. Okay, settle the hell down, especially you broads. We cannot hear you all you at the same freaking time. 
I had to just put everyone in timeout. And I'm going to take this out. Let, let people speak at one time. Thank you. Damn. People had to make me push that button, man. Had to make me push that button. Listen, you can have opinions, but we're not going to go against facts. And the fact is this. If a woman is bipolar, 99.999, you get the picture. She's a whore. That's simple. Right Here before you muted this, I was just going to say there was so much semblance in this conversation before you invited all the women. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> so, so, so tra translation, if it, it should have been just me up here, Noel. No, no, I'm joking. No, no, no. It's not that. It's just the fact <laughs> well, that obviously that it's like supporting our argument. <laughs> like With all the women, it's like Gary had to silence the call when it was just the men speaking. It was, oh, I'll let Sonny speak. Oh, I'll let Zerka speak. It's Gary's turn now. Like, women don't do that. Uh, 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 emotions. Right right that's because think? they know each other. They're you're a woman, too, so you're done right. like us. So I guess some are brighter than others. So. You eat tuna fish instead of gabagool. I don't so. like tuna. So, Gary, can you explain why a lot of men are sims and buy OnlyFans and watch porn? and play Yeah, games? yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So, so, a lot of these men who are buying OnlyFans, they have been raised by single mothers. And they play video games all day and they never actually go out there and like worry about how to make money. They don't actually go out there and try to figure out how to run a business. They just sit there and play games all day and fucking jack off the fucking shit on goddamn TV. And then they don't actually have confidence. They don't even go up to women and talk to them. I mean, for God's sake, even if you're ugly, you can be fucking funny. And they don't even fucking do that. So at the end of the day, uh, what we have is single mothers raising beta males who fund only ho only whores who fucking create single fucking uh, mothers. And the cycle keeps going and going and going. And I'm telling you, fellas, a, a, a fucking whole bunch of whores, an army of whores will do more damage than a fucking foreign standing military. Because at least you know who the fucking the enemy is. Because he, in a society like this, they're going to start telling you, oh, we need equal rights. We need this. We need. No, we don't need equal rights. We need common sense. Common sense says this. Women need to be at home raising the kids. Now, can there be some exceptions for women who are dragons? Sure. Five percent of society. Cool. Ninety five percent of you raise kids, have kids fucking the house in order when your husband comes home give him a back massage do whatever the fuck he wants because he's supporting you and live your life i mean for god's sake uh my my girl she's fucking doing yoga 90 minutes a day you don't have a job she found something to preoccupy your time and she likes it this is what you women need to do you don't need to worry about the stress i fucking worry about the stress and this is why i always tell these guys my the woman's problems are your problems. Your problems are your problems. You understand? That's how it works. You're not supposed to put any stress. These guys who fucking go in business with their wives. Are you fucking insane? Are you out of your fucking mind? That shit's gonna lead to divorce 80% of the time. Be logical, be a man, go out there, make your fucking bag, take care of your broad. And everything should work out. You know, devil's advocate, Gary, like, what about being a power couple? What about being a power couple? I mean, sure. They're, they're, I'm sure, like, 10%. But for the 80, 80, 90%, you motherfuckers are fucking going to the divorce court. If you're in America or the UK, you're taking your bag. How the, what the fuck is the power couple? Yeah, that's a good question. Because then no, Beyonce that, and Jay Z. Money doesn't matter that much. Like, yeah, but they, they sold their souls. Really matter, they would stay with the, the, the guy. Like, there's a lot of women that leave rich husbands. Yeah, it's the same because, like, say you get a divorce, <laughs> you have to pay for your lawyer and pay for your lawyer to fight her lawyer that you paid for. So it's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> this is so complicated. Being a man is so much harder than being a woman, but every man, when given the choice, is just glad they weren't born a woman. I'm glad I don't have any daughters. I wanted two sons. Why are you glad if you think women will have more advantage? Because you need so, No, I am so happy I have sons and not daughters. I am so... There's nothing that I get up every day I'm more happy about 
then I have sons. And the reason I'm so fucking happy is because if I 